Hey guys, here we are in beautiful Jacksonville at uh, 4863 Weathersfield Place. And this is what I had to rip off for the appraiser yesterday because he wanted assurance that this was going to be addressed. Otherwise, he was going to write it as a condition, which would have meant him coming back and charging a reinspect fee. But I promised him the work would be ongoing today. So these are two chimney boards, uh, trim boards missing that have been pulled away and and uh, there's pieces of it down there and then there is a piece of framing wood underneath that uh, uh, Meta is going to replace so the trim boards and the framing board are getting replaced uh, I'll show you more of that in a minute as we walk around we've got uh, let's see can't say for sure because we we've done our best to check it out plus we have a report to go off of but I believe everything was okay along there we do have a place underneath here and underneath here that needs attention uh, both left and right sides of the garage there's a place back here apparently I don't actually see it but the report uh, might be right there on the top but the report indicated there was uh, uh, some wood rot there. Again, we'll have to better discover that. There's a uh, wood rot right here at the bottom of this siding piece and a little bit on that trim board. Uh, there was wood rot right here along this side. And See, gotta go back into the garage. Uh, it's my buddy Mata, Home Repair LLC. Who would have thought that name hadn't been used? Good idea. There's uh, some wood rot right on the edge of this door. On the edge of this door and on this door jam, both uh, left and right side. So the door jam needs cleaning out. Uh, here is the magic man, as a matter of fact. Matt, I'll say hello to the camera. Hello, there he is. Hey, he, is the, he is the magic man. Wiki Dolder. Yeah. Jeff. Zev, hey Zev! And Eva, Eva's the lady buying the house, and Zev, mm -hmm. I'm sending this to everybody so they can see. Mm -hmm. But Meta has removed uh, the siding, obviously, from this portion. He's uh, removing some from right there. Because we have, we have rod along the bottom as well. You might note, Eva, these are full sheets. Sorry, it's a little noisy full sheets of material rather than piecing it together. Uh, we've also got rod on both left and right of the door jam. So uh, that's being taken care of. Plus on one inside edge of that door, it's got some rod, so that's being taken care of. Right there is being taken care of. Uh, trim board right there. Uh, I think we were all right on the top as far as we know. Let's see. Uh, Think, oh, I forgot to point one out. Yeah, and we got to go back out here. Um, gotta get back out this way and look back up because we've got wood rot right there. Let's see if I can get this in tight. There we go. Right there. Wood rot on that fascia board. So. That needs attention. Uh, going back out. Uh, nothing quiet about this job. So then we have wood rot along the bottom underneath these windows. We've pulled some of it away just to kind of demonstrate to ourselves where it is. But I think there's uh, about five sections along there that uh, are being addressed. And I think the trim boards were okay. Um, we've got uh, this trim board right up here has got wood rot in it. We've talked about the fact that there's moisture down in this wall 
and Mata thinks this is definitely going to be the culprit. So we're going to pull, he's going to pull that board off and see if there's Z flashing behind it. If there's not, there will be some. Uh, so that's going to get attention. There's a tension needed right there. Tension on both left and right sides of the sliding glass door. Uh, I think actually that trim board's okay. Uh, it just needs a fresh coat of paint. And then back to this chimney, we have some issues right down in the corner there. And then as mentioned, it looks horrible, but uh, it really is just the trim boards. Uh, here's a piece of it. You know, and I, I don't see any uh, tunnels or anything of termites. And I did find some uh, critters climbing around when I pulled this out for the appraiser yesterday. They were kind of large headed ant like insects. And I packaged them up and took them to Busy Bee Termite and Pest Control. And Matt, the inspector there, called me back this morning and thankfully said, No, Jamie, those aren't termites. Those are, I think we have. Yeah, that's really just a piece missing. But anyway, he said, no, Jamie, those aren't termites. Those are uh, a form of ant. Yay. So, uh, that's what I'm remembering from this walk around. And so I just wanted to point out to uh, you guys. So far, Meta has uh, brought in eight sheets, eight full sheets of T111 material, uh, eight one by four pieces, Those, this is one by four, eight uh, 12 foot one by fours, and then several 10 foot one by fours to do all these trim areas. Uh, and uh, he's hard at it. Let's see, I don't think we found anything over here. So you think about two days, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, anybody else, it'd be two weeks probably, but this guy is amazing. Is. I mean, he, he's, he's, he's been about 45 minutes so far, and, and that's the action. All right, well, here we are reporting from the scene. So just want to keep you updated. Thanks very much. Go Mata! Yay! All right, signing off. Goodbye.